Lock track button can be located on the left side of the track header. And when we click to turn it on, one thing you will notice is that this entire track will be grayed out. And when this happens, one thing we won't be able to do is to move clips that are on the track. And when I try to do so, the only clip that is being moved, as you see, is the clip on the track that is unlocked. You also won't be able to edit any clips that are on a locked track. So as you see, all the editing parameters under Inspector are now grayed out. However, when we switch to the audio part of the inspector, you will see that now all the parameters are still there. The reason is because the audio part of this clip is on a track that is unlocked. So if we lock this audio track, you will see that all the parameters will now go away. And when we unlock this track, all of them will come back. Another thing you won't be able to do is to remove clips that are on a lock track. So in this case, when I try to remove this clip, you will notice that the only clip that is being removed is the audio part of the clip. And also, when we try to ripple delete it, it also won't work. All rippling operations will now work on clips that are on a lock track. The only clips in this case that are being rippled are the audio clips. Despite every clip on this track being locked to protect the sequence, we can still make changes to them. And one of the ways to do that is through Fusion Page. So if we take our clip right here to the Fusion Page, all the changes that we make here will be reflected on our clip on the Edit Page. And the same goes to the color page. If we take our clip to the color page and make changes here, you will be able to see all these changes on our clip right here. Well, what about position lock then? How is it different from lock track? Well, first of all, we can locate the position lock icon right on top of the timeline. And when we click to enable it, you will notice, first of all, this applies to all the tracks that are in our timeline. And when this happens, what you will notice right away is that none of the clips that are in the timeline can be moved left and right or up and down. And that's the whole point of position lock is to protect the position integrity of our timeline and to prevent any potential video audio out of sync situations from happening. However, what's different about position lock is that even if it's turned on, we can still make a lot of changes to clips themselves. And one of which is doing edits like trim edit or uh, row edits, for example. And we can also bring new clips into our timeline to replace existing ones. And we can do things like overwrite or we can perform a replace. But what you will notice is that we won't be able to perform operations like insert where literally nothing happens. We also won't be able to ripple overwrite either. That will also work very differently. You will see that it will place the clip to the end of the timeline rather than where the playhead was. And the reason why this is happening is because if it were to turn position lock off right now and perform, let's say, insert, you will notice that the clip's positions will be changed immediately. And the same goes uh, to ripple overwrite. Uh, both operations have the tendency to change the position integrity of our clips of our timeline. Therefore, these operations behave a little bit differently when position lock is turned on. Another thing we can do when position lock is turned on is to delete a clip from our timeline. However, one thing we won't be able to do is to perform a ripple delete. So for our clip right here, if it were to ripple delete it, it would just perform a normal delete instead. And the reason is just because rippling operations can potentially change positions of clips and cause out of sync issues. So position lock is preventing that from happening. Lastly, while position lock generally applies to all the tracks in the timeline, we can also apply it to only a specific track by holding down the command key and then clicking lock track button. Now this track will have all the properties of position lock applied to it. So for example, we won't be able to move any clips that are on this track, but we can perform editing operations like trim edit or a row edits uh, very easily. And we also won't be able to perform any rippling operations. So if we try to ripple delete it, it will just perform a normal delete. So I hope this helps you guys understand the differences between lock track and the position lock. I hope this helps and I will see you next time.